What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over this problem called fashion shows, spodge fashion shows. It's another ad hoc problem. Basically, you have like a matching dating service and it matches them and they want to maximize the hotness bond between two couples. And the man is rated at hotness level X and a woman is rated at hotness level Y. The value of the hotness bond is X times Y and basically we want to return the maximum hotness for all couples, okay? We want to like pair them in such a way that they're maximum hotness. Both fashion shows contain N participants each and your job is to find the sum of the hotness bonds for all the couples that MMDS has proposed. This is a very easy problem, basically, it's 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 an easy problem. Um, so you know that the hotness bond is x times y, and if you want to maximize the hotness bonds for all couples, you want to get the maximum of all the values and pair them up the hotness level of x for all the men, right? All the men's hotness level, the maximum of those, and then pair them up with the maximum hotness level of women and sum them all up, and then that'll be the maximum hotness bonds for all couples. That's basically how you do this problem. Read them both in, sort them in increasing order and multiply them both together and sum them all up. That's basically how you do this problem. And I'll just explain the code to you guys. All right guys, so this is the code. Basically reading the number of test cases while T minus minus, we to decrease the number of test cases. We're gonna read in the number of people, right? And then we create two vectors, which is the arrays of both men and women. And then we read in, we loop through both of them, reading in both the men's values and the women's values. Then what we do is we just sort both of them, sort the men and sort the women. Right now we have a sum variable equals zero, and then we're just going to add up the multiplication of each men's value and the woman's value, multiply them together, and then we just print out the sum. So that's basically how you do this problem. It's not that difficult. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Ready, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later.